Hi, I'm Stacy, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're gonna open some boxes. I contacted Digilent on Reddit and sp spoke to them. They were kind enough to send me a board, and it has arrived. And I'm super excited. So um, I've had to be patient and wait until I could record the video to open this. This is cool. Well, let's cut away from myself, shall we? Shall we cut away from ourselves? Like a can? Is there a way? I'll say okay. I have it open. Let's put the knife back. <laughs> One, two. Okay. Digilent is amazing. Such a nice company. Contacted them on Reddit, and they said they would send me a board. So. I've been wanting to get a couple of evaluation boards to use for hardware project on my YouTube channel. My current Digilent board is a Spartan 6 board. I have a Digilent Atlas and I wanted to get something that would work with Vivado. Like a Nexus. And I specifically got the Nexus. I know that there's also the RT because it's got the peripherals. and. This is what a lot of students use in their classes. I would like to do projects with actual boards that students use. And then this is a also from Digilent. It's a digital discovery. So they kindly offered to send me one of these. They did send me this board for free to review and to use on my channel for projects. Very, very kind of them just to be upfront about that. So my goal is to make like a little spectrum analyzer out of it and, and go through everything that we would need to make like a little spectrum analyzer. Filtering, FFTing, and all the kind of details along the way. And this is going to be the hardware that we use. And then I'll also use the digital discovery for probing things that need to be probed. Oh, it's like 700 T. Then I also got the Digilent Discovery, Digital Discovery, and I'm going to probably be using these in upcoming videos. I love that they come in these little cases. I have a Atlas, a Digilent Atlas, and it also came in a case like this. And it's so cute. It's so small. So this is a digital discovery. So if you have any suggestions of things that you think I should try, of demos that you think I should do, of ideas and projects, let me know. And I will and I will do things. It's 500 subscribers and I am just blown away by the amount of support and interest that there's been in my YouTube channel. 500 subscribers over two months. It'll be two months on the 7th of September and I'm really excited and I've really been enjoying making these videos and they've been lots of fun. I have already exceeded my expectations of this YouTube channel. I had really low expectations. I mean, to be fair. But I remember when I started, I, I've been wanting to do something like this for like literal like years. And I always just thought, ah, who's going to watch my videos? No one's going to be interested in FPGA. The majority of the population of the planet doesn't even know what an FPGA is. But I've realized YouTube really does well with niches because even if like the entire YouTube user base obviously isn't interested in what you have to say, there will be a small percentage of people. And even if that small percentage is only like less than 1% or 0.1%, you know, because the YouTube user base is so large, that small percentage actually ends up being a significant amount of people. And so that resonated with me. It was like, wow, you know, that's true. There are FPGA students out there. There are people that are interested, that would be interested in learning more. And maybe this is an opportunity for me to kind of put my knowledge out there. And I really, really like the idea of passing on a legacy of knowledge and information to the people who are beginners in whatever field you're in. Instead of just keeping all this knowledge and information up in my head where only I can only use it and access it, I have all this experience and the opportunity to be able to share it with all of you is just such a blessing and I just am so so grateful that I have this medium to do this and kind of contribute to the world of knowledge 
that is FPGA development. And hopefully over time I can build this YouTube channel into something that can help beginners and we can do some more advanced techniques. I haven't been able to move forward with specific projects because there's beginner concepts that I use in those projects that haven't been explained yet. And I don't necessarily think that that's always necessary. Maybe I can do certain things in the code without pre-explaining them, but I would like to be able to have a guide for beginners to specific things that I can refer to if they need help with those. So hopefully now that I've covered some of the basics, I should be okay to kind of move forward in the more complicated stuff, which is what I wanted to do. This is just a hobby thing that I really like to do. I really, really enjoy it and it's lots of fun. And I've made $8 total from this so far. And so, you know, I've kind of, when I started, I realized that this isn't going to be like a profitable business, which is why it was really, really kind of vigilant to send me this board because as far as this YouTube channel is concerned, for the time and effort that I've put into it, I'm currently running at a loss. So it was very kind of them to send me this stuff to help with that. And I really appreciated that they did that. There is a buy me coffee link in the description, but you know, I understand that my user base is students and students generally have other places to put their money. They're on higher priority than spending it on me. Hopefully I can continue to make videos that you like to watch and we could make some cool projects with this hardware. And I'm really, really grateful for the support that I've received. And that's it. I really appreciate you. Thank you for hanging out with me while I unbox this and talk about some things. And I hope that I'll see you around for some more regularly scheduled usual programming. Bye.